be sure do need him now. Hallelujah. Well, we give honor to the Spirit of the Lord, amen, who is already in this place, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd love to go places where they still have church. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear me. Hallelujah. When somebody can pull one of them old songs out the back, come on here, and it's still anointed, and you can feel the power and the glory and the authority of y'all don't hear me. Hallelujah. Everybody can sing them songs. Hallelujah. And you feel the power and the glory and the authority of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I keep having birthdays. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm learning more and more the value of the foundations that we got. Come on here. Hallelujah. We get so busy trying to do the new. Come on here. That we throw out the stuff that's still needed in this season and in this hour. Amen. Grandma used to say, don't throw out the baby with the bath water. Come on. Hallelujah. Don't be so busy getting rid of the old that you, hallelujah, getting rid of those things that are valid and needed in this season and in this hour. Hallelujah. I don't know about anybody else, but I ain't following the crowd, bitch. I ain't following the crowd, no more. I'm following the clouds. I'm following the clouds. And wherever the glory of the Lord is, <laughs> that's where I must be. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, we honor the man of God. Hallelujah. None other than Bishop Henderson. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Thank you so much for this opportunity, amen. And they tell me no great man of God is successful without a powerful woman of God behind him, amen. And that is none other than Evangelist Henderson, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. These people let me over this house, amen. So good to see everybody yet again, amen. Hallelujah. Anybody encouraged in the Lord tonight? Y'all don't hear me. Anybody encouraged in the Lord tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at somebody tell them, this ain't going to be hard at all. This ain't going to be hard. This ain't going to be hard at all. Y'all don't hear me. Spirits for what you want 
to say tonight. Hallelujah. Look at somebody and tell because it's good news, baby. He's not omnipresent. He's not all present. 
Well, the kid is you and me and her and that's what in Kansas and that's what in Nigeria all at the same time. He's not omnipotent. He's not all powerful. As a matter of fact, he is powerless and weak concerning us who are in the body of Christ. And he's not omniscient. He does not know all. So, our, your enemy in this hour is no longer the devil. If the devil is still holding you down, it's because you are allowing him to hold you down. I know I'm messing with theology today, but I don't know, it's time for us to get free for real. Now, if we're still fighting the devil, then that makes us know the fact, the fact that Jesus died. Did y'all hear me? He holds with all power. He took the keys of authority over death, hell, and the grave. Y'all don't hear me. So what we still fighting over, what is ours? We fighting for what is ours. You don't know, hear me. We are king's kids. You know what the Bible says? I'm a child of the king. We love to tell people I'm a child of the king. Well, there are certain privileges that come with us being children of the king. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. The children of the king know who they are. They're taught from youth who they are. Their stance is different. Their expectation is different. You don't hear me. They don't care if you 500 years old. They know that they are in more authority than you will ever be because they are heirs of the king. But we've got to come out of this slave mentality that holds us captive. Y'all don't hear me. To, to, to the, the lifeless lifestyle. To what we hoping and believing, we praying, we warring, we got to beat the devil, we got to stuff on his head. I ain't stopping nowhere, I'm not talking to him no more, because his voice is no longer the authority yeah. in my life. Yeah. And you know what I know, this is, since I've taken on this mindset, he don't try to talk to me either. Why? Because he knows that I'm not trying to hear anything that he has to say. Why waste my time on an entity that's weak and powerless? Why waste my breath on an entity that's weak and powerless? Because sometimes it's easier for us to have somebody to blame, man. That old devil, he done did this. That old devil, he done did that. Come on, man. It's time for us as the body of Christ to stand up and be accountable for our actions. It's time for us to get past it's they fault, it's them fault. You don't hear me. And now we're blaming the devil for everything. Come on now. It's the devil's fault on the lake. No, it's your fault, you lady. Because you did not get up and move like you knew you was. Y'all don't hear me. It's the devil's fault that I don't tie. Because he be messing with my heart. No, 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 no. He is weak and powerless. That old devil, he can be a little kid. Are you hearing where I'm coming from? Messing with my children. Well, your children ain't living right. As a matter of fact, they evil. And they chose not to serve God. Why would they be bothered? Why would they? I, I tell people, God told me to stop giving them heathens my money. That's what God said. God told me to stop giving the heathens his money. And he was talking about outside of my household. He was talking about right now in my household. My children. Y'all don't hear me. Give the heathens his money. For them to go and do whatever they want to do with me. And when they get nervous and scared, what they do? Call you again to rescue them again. No, you don't. You don't get the privileges of the kingdom. If you don't live outside of the kingdom. And 
your tongue will confess. I'm not bringing you out of one more mess. My prayer has shifted. Y'all don't hear me. Lord, and they have to go to jail. Do what you got to do to get them in the kingdom. Y'all don't hear me. Lord, and they got to lose a foot, take a foot. Long as they can live in the kingdom, I'm happy. Are y'all hearing where I'm coming from? In other words, we're taking the blame or the accreditation off of the end. And now we're making everybody accountable for where they are. But the reality of it is where we are now, we might not like it. We might not like it. We are, but the, the, where we are now <coughs> is a result of us. Yes, come on, yes. come on, come yes. on. Our choices, our decisions. Y'all don't hear me. Our decisions. Come on, here. You broke because you ain't deal with God's money right. right. Are y'all understanding yes. where I'm coming from? You ain't got no increase yes. because you didn't handle what God had for you. No. 
more. Baby, you are now in comfort zone. I'm not excited about the things of God the way I used to be excited about the things of God. You're in comfort zone. But God has shared enough is enough. And they did so, and it was told the king of Egypt that the people fled. And the heart of Pharaoh and of his servants was turned against the people. Not only was Pharaoh's heart hardened, but his servants were hardened as well. God will turn a nation against you to get you out of there. Did you hear what I just said? He will turn the heart of a nation to evict you out of there, to get you to a point to where you will leave. And see what God is doing now. We love him because he's the God that opens doors. Come on, come on. Come on. And no man can shut. God that shuts doors that no man can open. Hallelujah. Some of y'all, God, that kicked you out, that told you enough is enough at yeah. this level. And because you're uncomfortable, because it's not easy, every now and then you find yourself back at the door. Let me in. You're the only door. Let me in. It's comfortable back there. Open the door. And God is saying, I have shut. The door yes. that no man mm. can open. Yes, my God. Mm. Where you once had favor, I shifted the favor. Oh, God, what am I saying? I might use the that favor. God said it's in the new place. It's a new good. Y'all don't hear me? Say, Father, 
Father. Father, teach me, teach me, who to pull out, who to pull out, and who to release to the man. Now, I ain't talking about your husband or your wife, but you heard me, you got to deal with him. But that's a whole nother story. Amen. And I'm not talking about that today. Amen. But there comes a day where you have to realize who's for you and who's against you. Amen. Amen. Are y'all hearing where I'm coming from? Now, being in the body of Christ, we have this awesome task to deal with everybody and love everybody equally. Are y'all hearing me? Even those that hate us. That's right. Even Amen. those that talk about us. Right. Amen. Even those that are talking behind our backs. Amen. Scandalizing our head. We're to love everybody. Amen. Look at somebody say, God told you to love. God told you to love. But don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Are y'all hearing where I'm coming from? A lot of times, what we do is we hold on to people because they're comfortable. Okay. Oh, yes, Linda complains all the time. Do you hear me? And by the time I get off the phone with her, my nerves are vexed. My wow. spirit is vexed. And I wanted to pinch myself and ask myself, why did you have that phone call? Are y'all hearing where we are? Amen. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Look at somebody tell them, leave Linda. Leave Linda. I need you. Are y'all here? been through things, but when you're putting more into a relationship that, that God intended for you to put into a relationship, it's time to cut it off. Are you hearing me? I, it's not that I no longer love you. I still love you, but we just can't be, we just ain't there no more. I love you. When, when it's too more complicated to be your friend right. than it is not to be your right. friend. Or to be your sister. Come on here. So that's what we call the sisters and brothers. It is more complicated to be your sister than it is not to be your sister. Yeah, we got a bitch that's this thing. Amen. I'm going to pray for you. But I'm going to pray for you from a distance. You, do you hear me? Because I'm, I've left Egypt. And I want to leave every part of Egypt in Egypt. The problem starts when you're trying to bring Egypt into the promised land. Amen. Abraham was hard headed. God told him to leave his country and his people. And he took a lot with him. A lot of headache, a lot of heartaches, and a lot of situations and circumstances because he did not heed the voice of God. So in the midst of transition, Y'all, y'all, I, I do an evaluation every year around this time. You know what I mean? I make my relationships. Amen. I, I begin to determine who's going to get my time and who's not going to get my time. Anybody time back and forth? Yeah. Are y'all understanding where I'm coming from? You know, when you can sit back and you are worn out and tired, and it's kind of like, why am I so worn out and tired? Because I'm wasting energy on relationships. That God is called and into. They are calling them unless they want something. That's right. Are y'all hearing where I'm coming right. from? That's right. They don't call you unless they can use you. That's right. Are y'all understanding where I'm coming from? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't see your value. Don't see your worth. Come on here. Don't uh, don't respect the anointing that's on your life. Are y'all hearing where I'm coming from? Don't really want to be. A part of who you are. Yes, Just want to be associated yes, with who you are. Uh -huh. Oh, I know. Oh, I know her. Uh -huh, yeah. I got her phone number. Are you understanding where I'm coming from? I know him. We run around the same circles. Uh huh. When the last time you talked to him? When the last time y'all had verbal communication? And you mean me well? I don't talk on the phone all day every day. I, I talk when it's needed. Do you hear me? 
but I have covenant relationships to where I know I can text you. I ain't got to see because some people get offended when you text. Yeah, they get offended. You could have called me. Just some people get offended when you text them. Hear me. But I have covenant people in my life that I can text and say, I need you praying. Such and such is going on. And I know they're going to pray for me like we talk every day. Are you hearing where I'm coming from? Amen. We passed all of this, but you didn't call me, and you didn't come over my house, and you didn't come today with me, and you took your ball, and I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that in this season. But they do it in the Lord of your Christ. You invite everybody home to your program. You didn't invite me. Well, you my friend. You come in now. That's right. So here I don't have to invite. Because if I'm having it, I don't need to send you an invitation. You already know you invite me. You know, not, not, you know I, I don't see me. I ain't coming as I get the invitation. Stay home. Stay home. <laughs> And in this house, I'm going in the land of milking and money, and I ain't taking no prisoners and no cows with me. Hallelujah. You get no invitation. I'm just going to see if you're going to come. Anyhow, um, we, find, we find the people who are in the midst of transition, and God is saying the old is over. It's time to get you up out of your comfort zone and take you into the new place. Amen. Hallelujah. And now, hallelujah. Let me find it. Hallelujah. And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them, and they were sore afraid. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord, yes. and they yes. said unto Moses, yes. Because there were no graves in Egypt, has thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Here you are on the brink of phenomenal breakthrough. And because you're uncomfortable, because you have to face some enemies and deal with some situations and circumstances, you would much rather go back to the bondage that you were in than face the enemy to your success and your great breakthrough. Now don't hear me. Uh, excuses? I, I would have been there two weeks ago, but that old there. 
I would have done it, but them people on my job. Well, I know what you said, but you know life is hard. Situations and circumstances come. All God is saying, here, there, here, there. Hallelujah. His heartbeat is, I don't care what it takes. I'm going to get you from here to there. Here we find Moses with this phenomenal task of taking other people out of bondage, who have literally been brought out of bondage. They out of Egypt. They have fled Egypt. But their minds are still enslaved to Egypt. Their minds are still enslaved to the Pharaoh mentality. The mentality that Pharaoh has that upper hand on us. They're still moved by what they see and not what the word of God says. Y'all don't hear me. Hallelujah. God said, go, I got you. I prepared a place. That's all that matter. Here come a few enemies, a level of opposition. Come on, here. Yeah. And now we want to pull back and say, well, maybe God didn't see it. I'm in, the, I'm in this place now. Either God said it or he did not say it. But I believe that every word that my God says concerning my life is true. Yes. 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 He can't lie. Look at somebody tell me he can't lie. <laughs> Y'all don't hear me. You ain't serving a light. No, no, no. That's right. You're not, you're not serving a, a will of God. You're not serving a gem of that peace of God. Come on. You're just serving the God whose words are true. Yes. 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 Oh, God. Yes, God. Come on, the God yes, that God. spoke these words over you. Yes. Thousands and thousands of years. Yes. Yes. You see how mighty he is. Before your great great grandma met your great great granddaddy, this God had already spoken yes, your God. purpose and your destiny yes. and released it into the atmosphere. Yes. Did yes. you catch it? Before you were even thought about, he had already prepared a place for you for kingdom reigning. Oh God, before you came into existence, your path was already routed out for you, and he had already spoken your end, that greater end, that greater place in him and the things of him. But if we don't get over the Egyptian mentality that tells me I gotta work, 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 why am I working to manifest what God has already put on the inside of me? When I came into the kingdom, when I gave my life to Christ, when I asked him to come into my heart, embedded in me was the kingdom. Yes. Righteousness. Yes. So 
already in you. Yes. Look at somebody tell them just get in your place.
that God has called us to walk in. People on your job now see you differently. That's right. Not because you made them respect you, but because you realized who you were. Yeah. Desperate people give off a sin. Yeah. 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 Jesus. 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 Give off a sin. That's right. You don't hear me. You give off a sin, an air of desperation. Come on, here. Then you wonder why people use you and treat you like they treat you. Because you give off a sin. It's an aroma that you give off that says, use me. Please use me. Yes. You can use me. Just use me. Do you hear me? Yes. And you find yourself, every time I look around, somebody else using me. Because you gave it all the sick. You got this big sign on your head. It says, use me. Devalue me. Wow. Don't see my worth. Wow. Because I don't see my worth. Wow. Nobody else will begin to see my value and my worth. So here we have. People, a people who has inherited the promised land, the land flowing with milk and honey. And because of their inability to see in the spirit realm, all they saw was what was going on at China. You know, hear me. If you're going to gauge who you are and what God has for you, you cannot look at it naturally. That's right. Especially in this season and in this hour. And in this time, honey, you better know who you are. You better know the authority that God has given you. You had better know that there is wealth and riches on the inside of you to be tapped into. Come on, here, yeah, that are just waiting. You ask God, God, oh, where's my money? God, oh, where's my money? It looks like it's in you. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know about Shake off yes. the comforts of yesterday yes. and begin to move forward in the things of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is not this the word that we did tell me in Egypt, saying, Let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians? For it had been best for us to serve the Egyptians that we would die in the wilderness. Someone said, That slave mentality. Amen. You free, and you talking about enslavement, and how being in bondage was better mm. than being free. Oh my God, y'all don't hear me. If you hear saints talking about, I ain't had all these problems before I got saved. That's a slave mentality. Because you don't know your value. You don't know who you are. You don't know the authority that God has given you. Hallelujah. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. Hear this and hear this well. For the Egyptians whom ye see today, you shall see them again no more. Yes, God. Oh, God. Yes. Forever. He said, y'all ain't even here to say no more. He said, forever. The Lord shall fight for you. And he shall hold your peace. That shall be She the salvation of the Lord. Of the Egyptian you see today. The enemies to your purpose, to your death, to where God is taking you. It's the blows, the situations, and the circumstances you will see them no more. Come on, let's go to Isaiah right quick. Isaiah 41. Come on, come on. Oh, God. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. I know this take a big. I know everybody ain't ready for this right here. Hallelujah. But if you're here, you're ready for this right here. Isaiah 41, verse 11. Behold, all they that were in sin against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be 
lacks nothing, and they that strive with shall perish. Amen. Come on, say, say let his word be established in the mouth of two or three witnesses. Hallelujah. He said, that whole all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Y'all ready for this? Thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them. Even them, come on here, that contended with thee, and that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For the Lord thy God will hold thy right hand, shame unto thee. Fear not, I will help thee. Lord God, you have been catapulted into a place in God. Come on here, to where you can't even find your enemies. Y'all don't hear me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They have been confounded. Oh, God. They have been dwindled to nothing. They've been stripped of their power, their glory, and their authority concerning your life. But if somebody tell them the struggle is over, the struggle is over. The struggle is over. You won't find them. They will be as nothing. Everything that has held up the, this new place of phenomenal breakthrough, increase and overflow, has been diminished, has been stripped of its power, has been stripped of its authority concerning every area of your life. Operating in the old and on. 
college. Mm -hmm. This is why people don't want to graduate. Because right. the new anointing takes time. Yes. Come on here. You, you got to say, God, if you don't do this, it won't be done. You don't hear that. In the old place, you can do it with your eyes closed. Do you hear me? In a new place, you got to rely on God. Like never. before any one of his words will return unto him void. The one who made the statement, I am the God of all flesh, then asked a rhetorical question. Is there anything too hard for me? Are you understanding where I'm coming from? This God has said to you today, walk in your authority that the enemies you see today, you are not going to see them no more. Somebody just didn't tell them that. Now, some people are not happy when they go. You know, you have to leave. Like, I hope I ain't grinning too hard. I hope I ain't grinning too hard. I hope I ain't grinning too hard. Thank you, Jesus. 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 He said it out loud, but he go hard. You don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. Yes. We've been catapulted into a new place in the brain. To where we don't have to work at this. The word of God says, God is working in me to will and to do his good pleasure. Yes, God. Now I'm working yes, on me. Do you understand? Yes. God is doing the work on the inside of me. I'm just positioning myself yes, that he can do the work. I can't fix me. Yes, oh, yes God. God. Thank you, God. I can't change me. But there is a God that's greater than I am. That's just been waiting on me to say, I'm tired. Take the wheel. Just take it over. Just do everything. Do whatever you have to do. Y'all don't hear me. And when we begin to pray like that, things begin to shift. You don't hear me. Don't get nervous when they shift. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Oh, God, y'all don't hear me. I might not get God, do whatever you got to do in it. Talk about my son. Let's do whatever you got to do in it, God. I don't care. Put him in jail. I don't care what you do. I just came out my mouth. Y'all don't hear me. And I'm praying and my eyes get bigger and bigger. And I'm like, oh, what the word did I just say? Oh, God. But I trust the Spirit of the Lord. That's when you know the Spirit of the Lord is praying His will through you. When out of your mouth comes things you wouldn't dare say 